जय सीताराम रामाय राम भद्राय राम चंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताया पते ए नम अयोध्या कांड चैप्टर ट्वेल्व सो फॉर वी हैव सीन मल्टीपल वेज इन विच दशरथ ट्राइज टू कन्विंस कैके दैट वॉच इज डूइंग इज रॉन्ग he repeatedly questions how kaike can be happy by sending this dharmatma and yashasvina rama to the forest how can she send the atyanta sukumara rama to the forest how can she bear to be happy by sending rama who is abhiramasya rama to the forest how can she be happy by sending rama who serves her even more than bharata serves her into the forest so in this way we have seen how dashratha points the fingers at kaike and says oh kaike how can you be happy without rama previously he had proven that he himself is not happy without rama's presence and now he tries to show that kaike won't be happy without rama over there to serve her more than he serves his own mother kaushalya so if kaike won't be happy then this exercise that she's doing is completely futile in this section we will continue with a couple of other ways in which dashratha tries to persuade kaike from enacting those two boons verses 27 and 28 बहुनाम स्त्री सहस्राण बहुना चीवीना परिवादो अपवादो वागवे नोपद्यते सांतव्यम सर्वूता राम शुद्धन चेतस गृहणाति मनुज व्याग्र प्रिय विषय वासीन There are millions of women in my kingdom young and old do i hear any one of them complain that rama has soiled himself with some unworthy act or that his fair fame is dimmed thereby again there are thousands of beings in this realm who work hard to earn their living do you hear any one of them traduce rama or speak of him any baseless calumny Rama conciliates all creatures by his sweet thoughts, words and actions. He draws their hearts to him by realizing for them the utmost wishes. His mind is ever centered in their welfare and has thereby won for him the worlds of light even the highest. Now, Dashratha speaks, if there is any person in this world who can cast a finger upon rama rama's activities are so pure even though millions of women are in that kingdom not even one of them can ever complain that rama did not behave properly with them as well as he also says that there are so many dependents that dashratha maintains and not one of them has ever complained about rama so not only is rama's character of such pristine beauty but he also mentions that even the other dependents also have nothing to complain about rama so this is actually a veiled comment on mantra as well mantra is indirectly being maintained by king dashratha mantra is maintained by kaike kaike is maintained by king dashratha and technically even mantra cannot ever complain that rama did not behave well with her because rama is sweet with everyone and that is what he is saying he is saying that the manuja vyagra the tiger amongst men has grihnati or captivated the hearts of everyone by his 
kind action by his priya by his sweet tender words by his activities his thoughts everything is so dear about him that's why he is called priya and in the later chapters of ayodhya kan we will see the ayodhya vasis absolute despair and gloom when rama goes off to the forest and they say that they love rama more than they love their own lives and they prove it so how can rama's people be happy without rama it is not possible nobody has ever claimed that he has made a mistake he is dharmagnya he is dharmavit he his dridavrata in his dharma and all of these things dashrata himself has specified so when he follows dharma perfectly there is no one to criticize him and say that he has not followed dharma and therefore how can such a perfect being go off into the forest and not only is he perfect he is also exceptionally sweet so the people are completely captivated by him so now he is the life and soul of all the people in ayodhya and what about ayodhya all the people throughout all the universes he is the life and soul so when you want that rama to go away how can the remaining population be happy so this is also a criticism on kaiki how can kaiki be happy when rama who has served her so diligently is going away to the forest how can bharata for whom kaiki is doing all of this be happy when rama goes off to the forest because rama is very sweet to bharata as well so how can anybody be happy it is not possible verse 29 सत्यन लोकान जयति दीनान दानेन राघव गुरून सुश्रूषया वीरो धनुषा युधि शात्रवान ही इज आइडलाइज बाय द पुअर एंड नीडी हुज वांट्स ही रिलीव्स विद अ लैविश हैंड द ग्रेट एंड द वाइज ही विंस टू गिव हिम पायस काउंसिल बाय अनपैरलल्ड डिवोशन टू देम nay he makes his bitterest foes traitor to themselves and fast friends of his by the mere flourish of his redoubtable bow he is a hero unmatched in sweet sympathy profuse charity profound wisdom and resistless valor so dashratha now covers the various avenues of lord rama so he says that rama is veera in all respects he is always valiant he is always jayati he is always victorious in all respects deena danena if a person is deen if he is very poor by dana rama wins their hearts if the person is guru then by shushrushaya that means by service he wins their hearts and if he is a shatru shatravan he uses his dhanusha and in yudhi in a war he wins them so rama is always veeru and he is always jayati he is always victorious so Dashrata is saying when Rama is here we know that the deena that means that the poor people are automatically taken care of we know that the gurus have someone to serve them and we know that the enemy dare not strike so in three different avenues Rama single handedly is the victorious one so in the absence of rama 
who is there to take care of the dinas who is there to take care of the gurus who is there to take care of the enemies there is no one because rama was so victorious he was so perfect in executing his duties that there is nobody who can even match rama in that exemplary behavior verse 30 satyam danam tapas tyago vitrata saucham arjavam vidya cha guru susrusha dhruvan yetani raghave rare virtues why with one another to crown him truth charity that secures a bright hereafter stern restraint of the organs of sense and action large gifts that win the hearts of people unwavering friendliness purity of thought word and deed adaptability an open eye that sees into the mysteries of the world and reverent service towards the elders and teachers of law so rama is endowed with so many qualities and dashratha gives few the first one he gives is satyam rama is always truthful a person who is truthful is following dharma and therefore he doesn't deserve to go off to the forest danam in the previous verse he described how all the dinas or the poor people are sustained by his wonderful charity so this is danam third we have tapah or austerity rama is so austere he doesn't unnecessarily crave for material opulence so okay k if you want material opulence rama will happily give you everything that he has this is rama tapah tyago he will sacrifice everything just to make sure that the others are happy we will see rama's supreme sacrifice throughout he binds himself in nagpasha just so that garuda can come and serve him his sacrifice and an ordinary person sacrifice are not the same he sacrifices so many things also that his devotees get a chance to serve him so rama is so great in tyagam in sacrifice next is saucham saucham is purity purity not just in physical attire purity in mind in words in deeds in every way he is absolutely pure arjavam he is very straightforward rama when we listen to how he speaks he is very straightforward he doesn't do any of the wishy washy speeches or he doesn't say things just for the sake of saying them he says exactly what he thinks and he is very straightforward so dashratha is also saying that kaike you are not straightforward in your past you behaved very sweetly and now you're not so i cannot really trust you but rama is so trustworthy because he is exceptionally arjavam very straightforward and vidya that means he is very intelligent he is highly erudite guru susrusha so guru does not just mean spiritual master it also means an elder so anyone whom he considers an elder so that could be mother father his various other gurus like vashishta vamdeva kashyapa muni there are so many wonderful gurus in there all of them he serves diligently next dhruvani that means he is very firm he is determined all of these are established dhruvani established in rama in our beloved raghava in rama so why would you want to 
throw such an exemplary person into the dreary woods. It does not make sense. Let us continue with the heightened emotions of King Dashrata in the next section. Jai Sitaram.